Urbano Burgomaster is one of the thousands of mayors in Colombia. He promised his electors a lot of social housing solutions for people who live in his municipality. Behind his desk, he thinks, hmm, what will I do? Who can help me? How much will this cost? Where will I get the money? After all, this municipality subsists with just the minimum. Calm down, Mayor Urbano. Let me explain. First of all, you have to find a really good mm -hmm. partner that can help you create and develop your project. And who can do it better than Finditor? They can help you start on the right foot. The first thing they'll promise is to understand how many houses you'll really need. Then you'll decide what kind of houses you'll give each family and the cost of each one. Oh, you'll also need to find out the requirements for the project to be approved. In other words, the basic documents you'll have to submit to Finditor. With these issues solved, you can choose the lot, which should be within the city limits and not in a risky area, like where you cannot build or where houses could collapse or sink. You must also check if public services, such as electricity, water, and sewage, are available in the lot. Well, Mayor Urbano, that would be the first part. <laughs> you can stop making that cranky face. Things are clearer mm -hmm. now, right? Now let's get to the development of the project. First, you contract urban work designers, public service networks, and, obviously, the design of the houses, including the specifications for construction. Okay, now the project has shape. Now let's get into a thorny issue. The elusive money. The budget. This is why you and your team, with the help of Finditor, must define the quantity survey, the urbanism works, the public services networks, and the home installations. You need to calculate the cost of each item of the project. This is what the experts call the unit price analysis. Then you request the construction license so that your project is fully legalized. And now you must think again about how you will find the money. You have to see who can provide resources. You can check, for example, the funds, which are the resources from the Ministry of Housing, City and Territory, or the mayor or governor subsidies, the household's contributions to the family compensation funds, and even in some cases, the special resources from the National Adaptation Fund, the National Royalty System, or the National Savings Fund. Now you can breathe easy, can't you, Mayor mm -hmm. Urbano? Good. Now it's time to present your housing project to Finditor using their formats so that they can analyze the eligibility of your project. In other words, they make sure that you comply with all the legal, technical, environmental, and financial requirements. When Finditor approves, they issue a certification of eligibility and compliance requirements, which becomes an open sesame to the subsidies of the Ministry of Housing. This process takes less than 90 days. Once you fulfill the time and procedure requirements, you can begin to build your houses. Then the resources will be dispersed in installments of 30, 50, and 20%. Or a second option. You can manage the implementation of the project with the Ministry of Housing, City, and Territory and have the houses and their keys on hand for them to be given to the poorest families of your municipality, fulfilling their dream, so they can say, now I have the house I've always wanted that you promised you'd give us. Finditor is the development bank in Colombia that supports the sustainable development of regions.